Tafeni, karibuni sana kwenye video yetu ya leo. Leo tutasoma juu ya operators in C program na tutaangalia sana sana juu ya arithmetic operators and relational operators. Last video tulisoma juu ya variables in C. Ikuwa ujui juu ya variables tafadhali uende usome juu ya variables ni muhimu sana katika programming na tutakuwa tukizitumia sana. Ukitembea kando ya barabara utaona zile traffic symbols zimeandikwa. Ukitembea vile utapata moja imeandikwa minimum speed. Itakuwa imeandikwa vile itakuwa ile sembo imeandikwa na imechorwa dhati ndani kama hii hapa imechorwa 30 kuonesha kama hiyo unafaa kwenda minimum speed of that. Symbols zinakuanga nyingi sana katika barabara. So ukiziona tu mara moja unajua maana yake. Sasa pia kwa programming tunakuanga na symbols na symbols tunaziita operators katika programming. Kwa hivyo katika programming atusemi symbols tunasema operators. So operators are symbols. Kwa definition ya operators tunasema operators are symbols used to perform operation. Yaani ni ile ishara inatumika katika zile performance ya operation. Pia inatumika to manipulate data ama ama variables. Yaani zinatumika ku change ile data umepewa na ku change ile variable umepata. Sawa sawa ama uko nayo sasa uko na data na uko na variables. Ku change hiyo data na variables unatumia nini? Operator. Operator ni kama plus sign. Hii hapa symbol ya kuongeza. Hiyo ni operator. Tutasoma sana juu ya hizi. Ujue tu hii ndio operator. 3 na 4 zinaitwa operate. Operate ni description. Yaani zina describe the data that is capable of being manipulated. Yaani kuelezea sana juu ile data tuna tunatumia. Sawa sawa. Siku hivyo operate zina zinaelezea sana juu ya ile data ama zinatumika pamoja na ile data. Types of operators. We have arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, conditional operators, increment or decrement operators, assignment operators, bitwise operators. Na ya mwisho inaitwa special operators. Katika hii video ya leo tunaona arithmetic na relational operators. Kwa hivyo tutaenda moja kwa moja kwa arithmetic operators. Ukisema arithmetic operators unaongea juu ya sub ni ile performance ya mathematical calculation ni, as, ni the same as mathematics ile ulisoma katika primary school kasoma addition subtraction multiplication division na ile reminder ndio modules yani reminder kuna ile addition the signs are just the same the different ni e multiplication unaweka hii hapa kuna addition minus kuna multiplication division na hii sasa ndio reminder percentage ni nini inaonesha modules tutaenda katika program yetu tenda katika code block tuangalie vile unaweza andika program ya arithmetic operator katika program yetu ya code block utaenda ufungue new project utaenda utaenda ufungue new project kwa hivyo utaenda file new then you click project then you choose console then you click go then you choose c then you click next alafu uandike ile title ya project ni r arithmetic arithmetic weke 1 2 3 alafu tu click next and then you click finish sasa tutakuja hapa kwa source we double click on the source and click this plus sign then you double click on the main dot c kwa hii program tuta change kwa hii program tutaanza na kuongeza variables tumesoma juu ya variables kwa hivyo tutaongeza variable variable ya kwanza tutasema ni int a equals to 20 then we put a comma then b equals to 3 then we put a comma then we put the capital r then we weke semicolon hiyo tume declare na tume initialize variable kwa the same line then next tutafanya calculation sasa tutaanza na addition r is equals to a plus b sisahau mwishowe unaweka semicolon then next ni hii print f line tutabadilisha kidogo tutoe hii a low word tutaandika a plus b e then we put percentage b kuonesha itakuja in 
integer value we want to have an integer value percentage d then tutachukua hizo mbili badala ya kurudia kuandika kodi tuta copy and paste so hapa tutabadilisha hii tutaweka minus na hata hapa tutabadilisha katika result zetu itakuwa minus hii hapa ni multiplication hata hapa hivi tutabadilisha hapa tuweke multiplication then hapa ni division division tutabadilisha hapa tuweke division then hii ni module ni reminder tuweka percentage na hapa tutaweka percentage tusipate error percentage ina maana mingi sana katika programming so tutaandika tu module then we save our program we will click here to save our program then we build kuna error yes kuna error hapa hivi percentage d in fact we space Ala kuhapa na kwa kuweka capital R nishu. Kom capital R. Kwa hau kuweka the answer. Zaka sasa saibi hakuna error inesema 0 errors, 0 warnings. Sasa kita run our project. We click there. So we have the output. Tukona A plus B is 23. A minus B is 70. A times B is 60. A divided by 3 is 6. Then the module, the reminder is 2. Make sure you write the code correctly. In case of any error, it will not be able to run. We will go back and continue with our slide. Sasa tumeona e program, tumeona tumeona tume declare variables, then to make a calculation ya addition, subtraction, to make a multiplication, division and module. Make sure that you write the code correctly. Alafu tumepata hii output katika program. After to run the program, tulipata hii kama hiyo kama output. Next tutasoma juu ya relational operators. Relational operators they are also simple that are used to compare two values. Yaani inatumika kulinganisha zile two values. Pia tunaweza sema relational operators they are used to check the relationship between two values. Yaani zina zinaangalia ile uhusiano kati ya zile ma values mbili. Aya. Pia in relational operators the results yani iki, i, the results yenye unapata inaweza kuwa true ama false true inakuanga 1 false inakuanga 0 usisahau kwamba results kwa relational operators inakuanga true ama false ikiwa true ni 1 false is 0 these ones are the symbols that we use in relational operators ya kwa the ratio equals to then not equals to then greater than less than greater than or equals to less than or equals to this one are the symbols this one are the description yani maana yake equals to in your sign in your maana yake tutaziangalia moja kwa moja ya kwanza inaitwa equals to operator yani sawa na katika equals to operator tutaangalia the operates zote mbili tumepewa operates mbili utaangalia kama ni equal ama not equal Example yetu ni kama hapa hapa kuna 2 hii ni operate ya kwanza 2 nyingine ni operate ya pili. Sasa so, tunaangalia kama hii 2 is equals to 2. The answer is true because 2 is equals to 2. The next one is not equals to yani sio sawa na simbo simbo yake ndio hii hapa. Inaangalia operate zote mbili kama ni not equal equals to or not equals to. Kwa hivyo ikiwa ni not equals to the answer is true. If it is equals to the answer is false. Kwa hivyo this 
not equals to is opposite of equals to. Kwa hivyo hapa tutaangalia is 2 equals to 2 tuseme yes. Kwa hivyo kwa sababu ni yes na tunatuko katika same sum tunaangalia operator ya not equals to the answer will be false because the symbol here is not equals to. Then next we have greater than operator yani kubwa kuliko. Yani tunaangalia operator ya kwanza kama ni greater than operator ya pili. So we first start with the first operator we check whether the first operator is equals to the second operator. If it is equal we check whether it is greater than not equals to. So we start with the first operator we check whether it is greater than the second operator. If it is greater the answer is true. If it is not the answer is false. Kwa hivyo hapa tunaangalia 5 kama ni greater than 2. And because we know 5 is greater than 2, the answer is true. The next one is less than operator. Chini kuliko. Yani ni dogo kuliko. Sawa sawa. So we are checking the first operator. Tunaangalia operator ya kwanza kama ni less than the second operator. Kama hapa is 5 less than 2. This is false. So the answer hapa ni false. Kiyo mana tumepata answer kama false. Then we have the next one is greater than or equals to operate. Yani kubwa kuliko ama sawa na. Hapa tunaangalia kama operate ya kwanza ni greater than. Sawa sawa ni kubwa kuliko ama imetoshana na. Kwa hivyo tukiangalia hivyo tunakuja tunakona tena hapa hindi operate ya kwanza na tukona tena hapa kama operate ya pili. Sasa tunaangalia kama zote E10 ni greater than 10. Tunapana pana si greater, lakini kuna sign ingine hapo imeandikuwa equals to. Kwa hivyo tunangalia if 10 is greater than or equals to. Kwa hivyo E10 ni equals to 10. So our answer is true. Then we have less than or equals to. Yani hapa kuna 10 na kuna less than sign is equals to 10. Yani unangalia kama operate ya kwanza ni less than ama ni equals to. Less than or equals to operate ya pili. So, Hapa 10 na 10 ni is not less than, but it is equals to 10. So the answer is true. We will go and check, we write this program we, so that we can understand more about relational operators. So we will go again to our program. We go to File, New, then we click Project, then we go Console, Go, See, Next, then we write Relational. Then we click next, then we click finish. Now we have another project. We click that project. We, we double click main C. So we have this project. Rock Nanza Kwandi Kasasa, our program. Tutaanza kama kawaida, tuanaanza na variables. Nimesema variables ni muhimu sana, lazima usome juya variables. Ifu jazisoma, wende uzisome katika ile program ambayo tulisoma last video. Then uneka comma, then y is equals to 20. Then uneka semicolon. Those ones we are declaring and initializing variables on the same line. On, on the same time also. And then inside the print F. We like that of the badilisha half a kidogo. Take a percentage D. Then we go here, you put comma. Then you say X is greater than Y. Then we copy this code. So that we cannot keep writing the same thing to na paste to. What we will do is change the sign. So this one is we will put to greater than also greater than but equals to. Then the other one is less than. Less than. Then this one is less than or equals to. Then this one is equals to. Then this one is not equals to. Not equals to. Then we will, we will check our program, we see if we have made any errors, we know we don't see any errors, but in case of that, we just first of all save the program, then we build. So it has, there is no error, zero errors, zero warning. So we run the program. 
So the output is 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 1. We said in relational operators 0 means false, 1 means true. So we check here if x is greater than y. So we will check this x 10 is 10 greater than 20? No. So the answer is 0. Sawa sawa. That is how we, we check with arithmetic. Let us run again. We check. So we are checking here if x is greater than y. So to make a x need 10, then y is 20. We see if 10 is greater than 20. We find that it is not. Because it is false, the answer is false, the answer here becomes 0. We check another one if x is greater than or equals to y. It is not greater than or equals to because to take a x up at 10 and to y 20, we know 10 is less than, it's not greater than. So the answer and is not equals to. So the answer is still 0 because it is false. But when we come to the third one, x is less than y, yani 10 is less than 20. So the answer is true. That is why we have 1 as the result. So that is the output. So we have written this program and at the end of the program to me pata kama indio output ya program yetu. Asante ni sana kwa kunisikiza, mkumbuke kulike video na msubscribe.